Hi everyone, Luke here from LSW Audio. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Today on the channel is going to be quite a cool video because, yes, I said I'm going to do a sound demo with the columns, but I'm also going to be talking about venues, doing outdoor events, and maybe having speakers in the auditorium. We're going to be talking about how much watts do you need for a venue, what do you actually need for a venue, like would you need subs, would you need singles, would you need duels. And we're going to be talking about that because a viewer reached out to me. Thanks again for reaching out to me, I really appreciate it. And he was talking about, he's got an interest in the columns. He wants to do a mobile event. He wants to accommodate between 80 to 100 people on average. And he, he quite likes the columns. Sounds like he spoke to other people and there's some pros and cons with them. So he asked my opinion on it. So I did a gig with him, I did a Valentine's brunch. We probably had about, how much would you say a camera person? How much? So around by close to about 20 uh, people. Um, it was a big property, but where we were sitting by the tables and chairs, it was a bit crammed-ish. But I had the volumes playing at around about 9 o'clock, just under 10 o'clock on the volume, which is not driving the system at all. And it was quite, quite nice. It was nice and loud. It was nice and clear. The acoustics weren't bad at all. Uh, and sometimes people say, just turn it down a bit because they can't really hear themselves talk. So it was pretty potent, but it's only 20 people. He wants to do 80 to 100 people. So in my personal opinion, no. He's definitely not going to do 80 people. It's way too much of a stretch for two of these guys because it's a 75 RMS. It's quite, it is a potent system because I was listening to it now with the mix on. It is quite loud. If I stand outside all the way there by the wall, I can actually hear the music playing and I'm turning up a bit. So he does have power under the hood. But basically they don't give you a DB figure on a speaker like this. But I get about 85 to 90 dB at one o'clock with two of them playing at around about two meters. Normally you measure DB at one meter at two meters. My personal opinion is the bass. It's got a nice kick, but it doesn't travel very far. So it's not like you're gonna have them in a good acoustics and you're gonna hear it down there and the bass is gonna like bug the neighbors kind of thing. It won't do that. So in my personal opinion, no. It's not gonna do that. I was maybe thinking, if you maybe if you really want battery powered speakers, you don't have the money of the JBLs, that's gonna cost you like thousands, thousands and thousands of rands for battery powered JBL, and he's only gonna be a 200 RMS. It's 200 RMS is a good amount of power, but not for 80 to 100 people. So let's do the maths. So basically, if you wanna do, let's say, an outdoor event, or you're gonna be in an auditorium or hall. Basically, if you want a good sound to fill the venue, not really volume where it's going to be like you can't hear yourself scream, but you want to fill the venue with, if you want a band or singing with a guitar or something, you have to work on five watts per person. So basically, let's say you have a hundred people and five watts per person, you would need about 500 RMS of power to accommodate a hundred people perfect. If you want raid volume, you have to work on 10 watts per person. That's going to put you back a thousand watts RMS. Whether it's a thousand per channel amp, or whether you have a system, maybe let's say two five hundred RMS, 18s or 15s or 12s, with maybe like a 300, 400 RMS worth of 12s on the tops, something like that. But that's the kind of watts RMS you must be pushing up to fill a venue like that. This is 75 watts RMS. It's nowhere near 500. So yes, you can be lost in enormous full to really get the watts out, but at the end of the day, you're gonna be really messing up the equipment. This battery's not gonna last that long, so I suggest not. But let me turn your eyes to these bad boys over here. So, he said his budget was between 12 to 12 and a half thousand rand. Obviously, you can go Google and see in your currency, if you don't deal in rands, how much that is. But it's a good amount of money, but in the bigger scheme of things, PA is very expensive. So you can't really get a full setup for that price. So anyway, you might be wanting to go for maybe a set of doors. Say door 15s, 1,400 RMS, 2,800 peak, 135 dB. I've got a 1,300 per channel amp, which is means for 4,500 watt power or something. So you charge like crazy. But I can get between 110 to 120 dB. Easy without driving off only on 12 o'clock on the volume, which is quite amazing. That's as loud as a concert, but maybe that might be too big. But I can say, easy, you can do 
With the dual 15, and obviously the king of subs, the delta dual 18 in the back, you can fill an auditorium up to 2,000 people at a squeeze. Some of you might disagree with me. Like, no, man, um, you need a line array for something like that. Yes, maybe you do, but you can actually do it because I have seen a set of Titan 15Bs. They are 420 RMS, 840 P. I've seen them doing an outdoor event of up to 850 people because I went on a church camp and 850 people it's a lot of people yes they were blasting like crazy but typical wolfdale is strong and basically yes you could still talk louder than the speaker because it was a big open event you have to fill up but you could still hear music playing so it's not so necessary to have so much watts but you still need quite a bit but basically i don't have this system in the lounge at the moment but Here's a system for your needs. If you want to do between 80 to 120 people, I would suggest you Google the PowerWorks P15.2. So basically with PowerWorks is I have him on my channel where I'm at my suppliers looking at this combo. It's got a 15 inch sub. It's a 400 RMS sub. That's all I'm going to say. 400 RMS, he goes down to 35 hertz. 15 inch, made out of solid wood with Rhino Rock paint. And he's got matching 8 inch satellites. They're about 300 RMS. And that full system together, the specs tell you that it's around about that 800 RMS, 1600 peak. They say you can do between 80 to 120 people. And it's only one system. So the sub is your mothership that powers your 8 and powers your sub. And you've got your, your features like your DSP and stuff for different venues. Now, I would suggest. For 15 and a half thousand rand, I would go for one of those. So maybe that helps everyone. But cool. Thanks, Alice W. Audio. Out.